welcome in witches and wizards to your October collective reading. Let's have a look, see what's going on. I've got my tarots and my dice. So let me get spreading. I hope you all had an amazing September. Okay, so immediately I'm getting vibes that we like struggling. <laughs> Why? Winter starts to set and we go, oh yeah, no, this is this is meant to be painful. I'm not meant to like the rain. I like this is something that happened in September for me. Um, I'd watched a, just a video clip on. Uh, TikTok about the idea of um, God being rain, therefore being within us and without us. And, um, I, the line I remember was, and the rains are literally God pouring onto us. And it started raining and everyone was running around. Like it started raining heavy, like an hour after watching this. And everyone's got their umbrellas out. And I just, I walked out into what, is miserable weather with a smile on my face going oh <laughs> this is a blessing so what i'm trying to say is october is probably going to look somewhat miserable to you and yet it is not in the slightest we've got the destiny dice followed by the empress as your first card so your mindset, where we are collectively. We feel like we can't nurture what is broken. We feel like in this circumstance, we can't manifest in winter. I'm here to tell you you're wrong. Let's let's do some more. So, um, here's, here we are. We have a fan. <laughs> Did I draw this last time? Are we, are we repeating? Well, I assume some of you are repeating last month's lesson. Uh, and we've we've got a swirly pile of shit that's flying straight towards the fan. And you're there going, I don't know how to look after myself. I don't know how to control my reality. I'm doing way too much. It's the stuff that's on my plate is being spread way too thin. My energy can't keep up with it all. And it is, it's flying straight towards the metaphorical, uh, the metaphorical fan. Now, before shit spreads everywhere though, I have to say this month can be very easy for you. Let's deal with some of the positives here. We've got the high priestess. You're going to be extremely intuitive. You're going to be able to deal in the moment, I should say. Because if you're looking over the next month and you're watching this when it comes out, like on the 1st of October, you're going to be looking at it going, I don't have a clue what October holds. That's because you're not in the present moment yet. When a issue arises, if you do not panic, if you do not go into hermit mode, you then can deal with the situation. And so we've got a nice shield that pops up right here. And guess what? Yeah, there's still shit in your life, but it doesn't touch the fan. It never touches the fan if you deal with things when they come up. And instead we go, oh, well, I, I know this shit is coming. And I'm so bogged down with everything else. So I'm just going to let it hit me. This is what I, like people mean when you reality, you're exact. You manifest your exact reality and everything happens for a reason. So if you're letting shit hit the fan, the only person you've got to blame over October is you. Sometimes we're in retrograde. Sometimes we're, there are genuinely like earth shifting moments where the universe had to like wake you up. This isn't one of them. 
October is completely in your control. And we've also got... <clears throat> so this is another one of those positives. We've got judgment, which is awakening, tapping into your divine strengths over October, followed by the uh, Eight of Cups, which is the ability to actually be comfortable within your own skin, being able to find peace. Again, it is reversed, so it's finding peace within the chaos, um, within like the struggle. But you can awaken that. You can, I guess, just transmute the, the pain that you're feeling. And then the final, so we've got three cards left. And we're starting with the blank card. It's literally a blank card. You've got to start looking for the light. And so let me see if I can work out a situation here so I can give you an example. The final two cards, nine and 10 of wands, both reversed. So this is a physical weight on your shoulders over October. Let's focus probably more financial. So something in the workplace. Now you can, again, this is a collective reading. So this will show up in many different ways throughout all of your lives. But realize that it's the same issue just from a different perspective. So if this doesn't resonate with you, you can look at it from a different perspective and you'll find a way that it does. If you've got way too much physical work, if you're applying for too many jobs, if you're looking after too many people, then half of the half of that I keep saying shit today. Half of that shit <laughs> doesn't need to be there. We can cut that shit in half. So it's only a little swell. Only a little nugget. And that, you can actually have fun with. Because instead of a massive shield that you need in every moment, you need to be conscious of what's happening so you stay above everything. You can shift that weight off your shoulders by just getting a baseball bat and going, eh, not today. That is the worst baseball bat of my life. Not today. And you can fling it. So this goes flying this way. You can fling. Sh uh, <laughs> um, give me a second. Give me brown. You can fling shit back to whoever threw it at you in the first place. This is like the ultimate protection. Screw sage, screw moon healing and crystals in your pockets and your bras and your under your pillows. Realize that half the stuff that you're dealing with isn't even yours. Fling it back out. And what this means, obviously don't grab your shit and chuck it at people. Um, just what that means is when someone goes, hey, I've got a problem, it's now yours. Go, hey, look, I'm I'm going through a bit of a selfish stage. Uh, and I mean, it's fine, this is my birthday month, so I'm probably gonna do this naturally anyway. I'm gonna be like, yeah, but it's my birthday week and you can deal with that issue. So however you deal with it. Um, but this requires you to be extremely selfish. Again, in the moment, so you don't have to just, with a blanket statement, go, I am not helping anyone this month. Because at the end of the day, you can still be selfish and help people if, be, if helping people brings you joy. But there's a good chance, <laughs> there's a good chance that shit doesn't serve you and therefore you can let go of it. Maybe it's an extra assignment that you're helping someone with and you go, hey, look, whether... I've got way too much on my plate and you, you say it as it is and go, I can't help you this month. Or you go, hey, look, I've, I can give you advice, but you can't take my physical energy this month and do with that what you will. Whatever it is, let go of some of this stuff on your shoulders. 
And then October just flows. It flows so much more simply. Like that judgment card, sorry, the, the judgment dies. That awakening means you can tap into that intuition whenever you like. This isn't a lesson for October. This is a lesson for life. When you feel like going, all right, I need to be in the hermit mode. I need to <clears throat> close myself from reality. I need to be a bear and dig a hole. Like, I guess that sums up October for the majority of people, but it doesn't have to be you. You pick your seasons. And like a bear who curls up into a ball and comes out when spring comes around, that is an option. The, a f fully prepared for some of you to be like, now nah, this is just a bad time for me. Um, I'm going to come back when the sun's back out. Fine. But for the rest of you, um, I was going to use an owl, but they're not nocturnal. They still hibernate in the winter. Um, <laughs> some of you are sharks. They don't sleep. They don't have seasons. They are constantly active. And if you allow the, the slowness of winter to take hold of you, I'm almost 100% sure this is a fact, but um, I'm pretty sure sharks can't stop swimming. Because if even when like they sleep with like one eye open or something, or is that dolphins? Um, You know what, just, I'm going to try and use a different metaphor. <laughs> Give me something else, please. Um, koalas sleep 24-7. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, give me anything. Why can I only think of hibernating things? Like, my mind went to, what's that bug that lives for like three days? The mayfly? They, they live and die within three days. Like, that's their whole life. You know what? Time's relative. That makes sense. They have no season. Their whole life is just, hey, let's do everything on our power to reproduce. And again, this isn't saying reproduce, but in terms of the mayfly, it's, I have a goal, and my whole life is going to be dedicated towards it. I'm not going to go, my, my years split up into for freeze <laughs> these things called seasons and i'm going to allow myself to have to sleep like subconsciously for a period of time so to summarize i wish i used a better metaphor and shit but the universe works in wonderful ways so we're going to stick with it your metaphorical shit that's coming your way that you can already probably imagine and that is on its way does not need to ruin your month. And ideally, people, let me know in the comments the proper animal I should have used in this. Uh, an animal that is active during October <laughs> and winter. Um... But you, you don't need to slow down. Those who do, I appreciate it. Look, some of you are bears. Enjoy it. Enjoy the winter. Enjoy the weight on your shoulders. Enjoy having to slow down and catch your breath. If that's your path. But I feel like for the majority of you watching, the ones that this truly connects with, don't you dare slow down when you've, you've started building momentum. Because in the moment, you are strong enough to deal with anything the universe throws at you. And you'll overcome all of it. And by the end of September, you could be looking back and go, yeah, you know what? That was a heavy month. But I'm really proud of how much I did. And how much more I can do moving forward now that I've got more trust and confidence for myself. Especially with the idea of being selfish and... If something doesn't serve me, then it doesn't need to be mine. It doesn't need to be with me. It can be the person's who has that dream or needs that frequency. So I'll leave that there. 
if you enjoyed please like subscribe uh yeah leave a comment if that helped and yeah let me know what animals i should be using <laughs> my mind just turned off welcome to october uh so from me stay kind stay cute stay curious my friends and i'll see you all very soon